All right, here we go. Exposing my streams of income. Hey, what's going on guys? Victor Chambers here, back with another video. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. On this channel, I bring you up close and behind the scenes on my journey as a notary loan signing agent and entrepreneur. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload brand new content. So in this video, I want to expose my streams of income. Your initial thought may be, well, why are you making this video? Well, one, because many of you have actually asked me about this, and two, because if you saw a recent video I posted about the refinance boom, I mentioned that none of us know exactly how long this current refinance boom is gonna happen, and I know many of you are wondering if being a loan signing agent and being a notary is sustainable as a single source of income. So in this video, I wanna share with you streams of income that I've built and am building to complement my notary loan signing agent business. Now, what this video is not. This video is not me boasting or gloating or bragging about my income streams or any of that. So please, I hope you don't actually see it that way. Secondly, this is not a video where I actually disclose how much money I'm making from all of my individual income stream so i'll save you the disappointment i'm not actually going to disclose actual numbers of what i'm making from all of my streams of income if you want to know more about how much i've made specifically in my notary loan signing agent business i've actually done videos about that you can click above to go check out those videos my real hope with making this video is that it will hopefully answer some questions for many of you, but it would also help you generate maybe ideas around how you can monetize your various skill sets to supplement your notary loan signing agent business. One thing to keep in mind is that income streams are a byproduct of your skill sets and your passions. So as you cultivate various skill sets or passions you might have, it's important to understand how you can monetize those skill sets and those passions to create income streams for yourself. So let's jump right into it. I like to break up my income streams into about four different buckets. The first bucket being real estate. As many of you know, and I speak about it quite often here on the channel, I am also a full-time real estate agent. I've had my license for over 10 years. I work traditionally with buyers and sellers here in New Jersey. And as a real estate agent, I obviously hang my license with a broker. I have opportunities to earn income three ways. The first way being from my production. So that's, as you could imagine, working with buyers and sellers, selling homes and all of that stuff. The second stream of income within my real estate agent business is stock awards. So every time I close a transaction, I get a certain amount of stock that obviously builds out my personal portfolio and that actually continues to grow and add to my net worth and my income. And the third stream of income just within my real estate agent business is revenue share. The way my brokerage is structured and modeled, I actually earn revenue share from the company uh, based on my production and the production of agents that I actually recruit into the brokerage. I'll leave more details about how exactly that works maybe for another time in another video, but just know that within my real estate agent business, I earn income from my own production, from stock awards, and from revenue share uh, from the production I create and the production of other agents as well. Also within my real estate bucket is my real estate investing business. Now I'm not actively fixing and flipping properties and I'm not actively purchasing rentals, but those are components of my real estate investing business that I will be building out more and more in the future. However, I do opportunistically wholesale real estate. And so that's an investing strategy and a skill set that I've cultivated. I actually have a company that I've set up specifically uh, to do that. I've, I've done quite a bit of that in the past. Again, maybe in the future in another video, I'll talk a little bit more about real estate wholesaling, what it is, how it works. Uh, many of you may already be familiar with that, but I've done quite a bit of that uh, and do do quite a bit of that uh, currently. And that's just another stream of income within my real estate bucket. The second bucket, as I'm sure you're all aware, is my notary loan signing agent business. Now, this bucket consists obviously of everything I do as a notary, general notary work and loan signing. Also within this bucket is my income from being monetized here on YouTube and also my affiliate links. So Amazon affiliate uh, and other affiliate links that you'll see in my description box below uh, in relationships with different companies that 
that I've cultivated. My third bucket is what I call my personal bucket, and it's basically my personal investment portfolio. I primarily invest in index funds, which earn me a return, and a select number of single stocks as well. I personally prefer to invest in index funds, one, because I'm investing for the long term, and then two, because investing in index funds gives me exposure across many sectors of the market, and this helps me hedge my portfolio against uh, the volatility that individual sectors may face uh, in the market. Now my fourth bucket is what I call my music bucket. Now many of you might not know that I'm a musician, I'm a singer, and a songwriter. I've recorded albums, I've written albums for other people, and I occasionally travel uh, as, a, as a musician and as a singer, as a worship leader. I'm very involved in my church. I actually am on staff at my church. And so um, from writing and, and singing and traveling uh, and doing various things as a, as a singer and a musician, I do earn some income uh, on, a, on a regular basis. Now, in a nutshell, those are the four buckets that contain all of my income streams. However, that's not to say that I'm not continuing to cultivate uh, even more. As I said, I'm not actively fixing and flipping real estate and I'm not really uh, pursuing uh, acquiring rental properties, but those two things within my, the real estate niche are things that I will be doing more of in the, in the very near future to create streams of income. And I'm actually also considering uh, getting a mortgage loan originator's license so that I can actually originate loans. Now you might say, man, you're doing too much. But the fact is that I want to create streams of income around uh, the various passions and skill sets that I already have. So for the most part, all of the income streams that I'm working on or interested in are tangentially related to things that I'm already doing and I just see them as additional opportunity to, to serve the people uh, that I, I'm currently working with. Now again, this video was not to boast or brag or any of that. Hopefully you not only learned a little bit more about me, but you also maybe perhaps were able to generate some ideas of different things that you can do or different things that you can investigate to help complement and supplement your, your notary loan signing agent business. So remember, income streams are a byproduct of your passions and your skill sets. So if you have a skill set or you have a passion, uh, figure out how you can monetize that skill set and that passion. Maybe it's starting a YouTube channel, making YouTube videos. But hopefully this video helped you generate some more ideas about things you can do uh, to create income streams for yourself, to build wealth, and to leave a lasting legacy for you and your family. Hope you found this video interesting and informative. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload brand new content. Until the next video, peace.